There's event planners, what you do that could be, that can take care of you guys through the entire wedding mm -hmm. process. And there are those who get to the point, it's like, I can't take it anymore, that you can actually be day of um, event planners. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit, uh, you know, about um, helping maybe the day of, how, when do they actually get there? Just tell me a little bit about that. Sure, well with our day of coordination clients, um, I think that the day of word is a little bit misleading. Our day of clients can sometimes hire us a year in advance. Um, when we go out for day of coordination, we are actually with the client from the moment they start getting ready in the morning until the last guest leaves at the end of the evening. So that's usually a little bit over 12 hours in one day. We're there the night before for the rehearsal and we're overseeing the rehearsal coordination. Um, just making sure that the bridal party knows how to walk down the aisle, everybody knows where to stand. Um, Which it seems so simple. It seems simple. But, but sometimes two left legs kick in. You know, but no, you're there to help them absolutely. and ease them through all that. A lot of times people just don't know when they're supposed to walk. Right, <laughs> you right. know, so yeah, yeah. We're, we're kind of hiding in the corner saying, okay, go, go right go, now, go, smile, go. hold your bouquet. You know, so it, um, we do oversee all of that. Our day of coordinators act as your personal assistant that day. So while venues sometimes do have venue coordinators on site, their job is to make sure that the venue is running smoothly, that the food is going out on time, but they are not necessarily catering to the client itself, making sure that nothing is happening. Like they don't have that out. little bag of tricks. They don't it. have the bag of tricks. Right, right. And if something does happen outside of their venue, they're not going to be the ones fixing it. Most of the time, you guys don't even realize there's a problem occurring because we're already on it, handling it, making sure that it runs. And that's smoothly. great too. I'm sure all you engaged couples or people out there know the day of the wedding, any issues or any problems never go towards the bride or groom, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you can go towards the groom maybe a little bit. The guys are a little more <laughs> understand. Some of these guys aren't, but no. I think you kind of keep. <laughs> we kind of feel like our day of coordinators are a little bit of insurance. Um, we make sure that you've done all the planning up to this point. Now you can relax and actually enjoy it. You don't need to be worrying about the little mini details and the right, drama right. that could come up, you know, or even fielding a lot of the questions that some of the vendors might have or even some of your guests. You've done so much planning, mm -hmm. so much goes into it, as you say. And the day of, I mean, it is what it is that day, right? Yeah. You should just, it's going to go by fast, too. It's going to go by so fast. So <laughs> it is going to fly by. It's going to go by super fast. So just have fun. Mm -hmm. Live in the moment. Take it all in. Absolutely. The day's going to be gone. And having somebody like an event coordinator or event planner or somebody there to take care of all that stuff, to me, is a win-win situation. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's pretty simple. It's like, yeah, why wouldn't, why wouldn't you? you? Yeah, why wouldn't you do it? The question everybody might be thinking, I'm thinking, why do I need an event planner? Why? So there are really three reasons why you would want to hire an event or wedding planner. Um, basically this all comes down to we can save you money, we can save you time, and we can save your sanity. Ah, oh, the first one, save you money. <laughs> the last one works, but everybody wants to save some money, so very cool. Absolutely. So when it comes to money, obviously every wedding, um, every bride has a budget. You walk in and you've got this beautiful number in your head and this is what I want to spend when I create my um, wedding and when you hire a wedding planner, uh, mostly we know all the vendors in the area, we've worked at many places, um, we have connections within the industry, we can save you money. I can tell you which way to focus your attention or what options might be cheaper alternatives. I can basically guide you into the right direction of saving money as opposed to you just going out on your own and looking up this information and not knowing really what route to take. What about this? What about this? So you get, you're sitting on your desk, right? Yeah. You're hanging out, you get a phone call. <laughs> Hi, Kel. Yeah, hi. You're nice. Listen, I love your work. Your work is just absolutely amazing. You're just so fun to work with. Everything you do is is so amazing. I just want to. I want to be your best friend. I want to take <laughs> vacations with you. But you're just out of my budget. How can can you still work with me? Uh, are there ways that we could work on my budget? Like budgeting, I know for all of you is a big, big thing out there, and there's reasons why we charge what we charge. Mm -hmm. What do you do with people that you know that that kind of go crazy absolutely. with the budget? Absolutely. And that comes up a lot especially when some of our brides are in the beginning of um, stage of their planning and they need help with certain aspects but they are not sure if they want the full planning package or even the partial planning package so we always tell our clients to start small look we can always build onto our packages as we go this is, this is something I learned so you can <laughs> it's just it's fun you could actually have you help you out with any part, any part of, the, of, the, of the day so mm -hmm. as as much as from everything or as little. To as little to, hey, where should grandma go to the bathroom? Or where, <laughs> you know, all that little stuff. All right, take me to number two. You said there was three, so what's yeah, number two? Yeah, so number two is time. We can save you yeah. so much time. Um, 
I don't think that a lot of clients understand how much time goes into wedding right. planning. Uh, they say on average it's about 40 hours um, for like 400 hours, I'm sorry. Now on average it's hours, about 400 hours to plan a wedding. Um, so that ends up being a lot of time each week that you're dedicating depending on how far away your wedding is.